obviously a lot of tough things on defense today, but how big was that interception you had in the first half to kind of give up some momentum? Uh, yeah, like you said, I feel like uh, that kind of gave us a little bit of momentum on the defensive side. Um, you know, um, yeah, just pretty much it. Why, why, was it, why was the running game so successful against y'all? And, and the coach was saying, you know, you got to tackle better. And, you know, how do you guys fix that going forward? Uh, I feel like uh, all week, uh, Coach Peter's been preaching, uh, staring our gaps. I feel like we didn't maintain them. And he's the type of running back to just, uh, not, he's not north and south, he's more bounced out. So uh, I feel like we just should have did that better. Coach was saying it was not a very good two weeks of practice for you guys. Did you feel like you guys were emotionally ready to get out there today? Uh, I feel like emotionally we were, we were ready, but physically we weren't. Uh, you know, we had guys, um, you know, just chirping and stuff like that, that coach, and just, you know, it's, I mean, like you said, it was an emotional game. We, I feel like we were emotionally ready, but physically, no. Hey, what do you think of that for you, part or trying to plant the flag out in the field afterwards? Uh, I didn't see that actually. I was uh, doing a uh, frog uh, a song and uh, I heard people in the locker room, so just dug it. Do you think TJ Carter moving to cornerback had any effect on the communication in the backfield? Uh, well, he, he rotated to safety and corner, so it kind of threw me off a little bit, but at the end of the day, we still got to be able to communicate and just help each other out and be on the same page. You guys aren't the leaders. What do you kind of tell the guys about bouncing back and you know making sure they're still? Uh, just to keep your heads up. You know, it's, it's just one loss. It's, it sucks to our rival SMU, but you know we just got to uh, bounce back and come harder next week. Um, just uh, let let that be our reason to uh, come out and play hard uh, next game. Obviously, this has been a rival. You know, what do you think of all the, the trash talking that SMU was doing throughout the week, and then the way they did it today, and just kind of sum up the week of how uh, we, expect, we expected it a lot. Uh, you know, a couple guys on that team, they talked a lot, but you know, we we tried to not let that get to our heads. We just wanted to play our game, um, and that's it. We'll go two more questions if you have them. When conference play starts next week against Texas, and then that you still guys still have a lot of season left to play. What what do you tell those guys, and what maybe did Coach Patterson tell you guys about having a lot to play for still? Uh, yeah, he, he pretty much just told us uh, we got to keep our heads up, stay strong. Uh, we start conference next week, and we and we got three emotional games, as he's been saying, uh, since last week. So uh, we really got to step it up in conference and show these guys that what we've been working is going to work. So.